quite like that special time of year when we celebrate the birth of America. Sure, technically Independence Day was almost a month ago, but it's a little known fact that August 2nd marks the day that the majority of delegates signed the Declaration of Independence. It's for that reason, and that reason alone, that I've chosen today to celebrate with my inaugural video. Certainly not because someone needed more time to get the video done. And what better way to celebrate than by doing the same thing I do every other day, playing games. Today we'll check out a few games that explore the themes of Independence Day, and maybe learn a thing or two along the way. Let's check out our first one. Alright, I know what you're thinking. Mario's Time Machine is a weird choice, but hear me out. This was an educational game released in 1993 and featured Mario traveling to several different historic moments in time, like the creation of the rabies vaccine or the destruction of the Berlin Wall. But the moment we want to focus on is Philadelphia, circa 1776. That's right, Mario has actually met the Founding Fathers. like. Benjamin Franklin, and this guy, and these guys. I love how Mario's entire mission is to return these crucial historical artifacts, and yet his entire plan when he gets where he's going is to offer it to every single person he sees. Offer declaration. Offer declaration. Offer declaration. So after talking to three whole people, and somehow stumbling across enough clues to find his way to Independence Hall, Mario gives the declaration to Thomas Jefferson. He can finally rest and watch the sun rise on a grateful America. I can't help but feel that this game may have been a little lax on the historical accuracy, so let's check out something a bit more serious. Liberty or Death! It was a turn-based strategy game, released in the same year as Mario's Time Machine. I had never heard of this game before, but something about that glorious cover art just pulled me in. Interesting choice to let you play as the British in the game Liberty or Death. Oh, I guess if you look at the title as a choice, it makes a little bit more sense. If you want the Liberty, choose this side. If you're more interested in the death. <gasps> Although, I can't help but notice that the British commander, Thomas Gage, is worse than George Washington in every measurable way. No wonder the British lost. Look what they're working with here. After choosing a side, the game just starts throwing financial decision after financial decision at you. How much do you want to pay the officers? How many ships do you want to buy? How much will you give the regiments? One after the other. I'm already starting to think this game should have been called George Washington's Accountant Simulator or TurboTax Founding Fathers Edition. Give me a break guys, I just started this job. After a series of what I can only assume were terrible financial decisions, two of my generals resigned on the first turn. I'll be honest, this type of game really isn't my strong suit either, so I think it's a good time to move on. Mission failed! We'll get them next time! Next up is Washington's Wig, a mobile game from 2012. I can only hope we're about to experience the first early American hairstyling simulator. Oh yeah! Listen to that jam! Liberty. I'm 
sorry. What? Why is this music track accompanied by ASMR? Sorry, we're getting distracted. Let's get into the game. According to the lore of this game, George Washington loses his wig and commands his faithful companion, Dogsworth, to go and fetch it for him. More importantly, we learn that poor old Georgie boy apparently had no natural hair whatsoever. Just think, in an alternate universe, we could have been blessed with dollar bills that looked like this. Oh yeah. This game pretty much follows the standard mobile game endless runner formula. You collect points, jump over red coat dogs, unlock new characters, and try to get as far as you can. Now that I think about it, this is an endless runner, which should theoretically mean it's endless. There's no end, no winning. I don't think Washington is ever going to get that wig back. Okay. Moving on, our next game could be described as a subversive game of tactical espionage action. That's right, I'm talking about Children of Liberty. Uh, no, sorry, Children of Liberty. I've already heard that this game wasn't finished. In fact, I'm pretty sure this only has one level. That being said, it had a successful Kickstarter and four years of development time. That makes me think we're in store for something special. So like I mentioned before, this is a stealth game. You can move between the background and the foreground to hide, avoid obstacles, and ambush enemies. Back off! Bonk! Did he really just say bonk? Bonk! Yep, yep, that's what he said. One thing that really sticks out to me about this game is how quiet it is at times. You have these nice little musical scores that pop in to give a little dramatic flair at key moments. Those are usually only a few seconds long. The rest of the time you just have to listen to the sounds of your character shuffling around. Where do you think you're going? That guy got me. Let's see how far back they send me. Uh, well, this is right where I got captured, but I can't seem to get out of the air. <laughs> ah, good thing those beams were there, I guess. Pretty sure I would have been stuck there otherwise. Boy, they really got their money's worth out of that line, didn't they? Oh my god, look at this ladder! I thought we were just playing as a child in this game, but it's starting to look like it's a little bit of American history mixed with Jack and the Beanstalk. Or a little Benjamin Franklin mixed with Benjamin Tabert, if you will. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Okay, so I know it looks like I'm not doing anything, but for the life of me, I just can't seem to move out of the background anymore. I'm, I'm completely stuck here. I guess we had another bug. I'm gonna restart and run it back real quick. Okay, I made it to the ladder again. Here we go. No, I still can't move out of the background. Wait, what? Are, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm done, dude. I can't keep playing this. Okay, so I think I've been going about this all the wrong way. All this time, I've been trying to dive into the historical significance of Independence Day. That's not what people love about it. Let's get into the fun. Time to bring out the fireworks. Okay, so they just kind of drop us in the middle of town here, but that's all right. Uh, look, there's the fireworks store. Ah, out for lunch. Luckily, the gas station's still open, so I guess we'll just set up shop here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Just drop a couple of these and a handful outside. 
Connect the fuses and light them up. Okay, I think we're gonna need a little bit more firepower to really celebrate America's birthday though. Just need a few of these, maybe a couple of these. Throw in some of those. And now, the coup de gras. You know, I am getting a little tired of lining all these up, so I'm just gonna throw these on the ground. I'm sure it'll be fine. And now we just connect all the fuses. All right, all done. Let's light it up. Ah, just like a real fireworks show. <laughs> you know, this is starting to remind me of that time they accidentally set off all the fireworks at the same time in California. Wait, what's going on over there? Is that the fireworks store? Yep, that's the fireworks store. I'm kind of starting to see this game in a whole new light. We started out having fun, and we've moved on to being a legitimate threat to society. Is there anything more American? Yeah! Alright guys, that about wraps it up for me. I think we learned something today. Even if it was only that true celebrations are worth risking occasional property damage and grievous bodily harm. If nothing else, at least we had fun. Thanks so much for joining me on this little foray, and I hope to see you next time. As always, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, hit the bell for notifications, smash that like button, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, x.com subscribe to my patreon and join me over on only that's a wrap feels good to get one in the bank oh. junk junk huh that's weird this this is more junk. Ugh. Maybe I'll catch a bit of TV before bed. Hey Mel, you wanna watch something?